3.5 cubic meters of the loading mixer operation. First, look at the fuel tank in the two hydraulic oil tanks. The minimum fuel level of the fuel tank is at the scale 4, and it needs to be refueled if the fuel level is lower than 4. This is a hydraulic oil tank. The oil in this tank must keep above the scale 3. Then go around the vehicle and check the tires. Get in the vehicle after confirming everything is normal. When getting in the vehicle, first check whether the left two gears are in neutral. This is the vehicle's tachometer. This is the vehicle's water temperature display. This is the vehicle's battery level display. This is the working time display of the vehicle. This is the vehicle's fuel capacity display. This is the air pressure display of the vehicle. This is the vehicle's engine oil pressure display. This is the water feeding timing. You can press this button to adjust the water feeding time. Now, water feeding time is 9 seconds, 9 minutes, 9 hours. After setting the water feeding time, you can turn the rotary knob to automatic. Now, the timer starts running. When the set time reached, the water supply stops. You can also turn the rotary knob to the left, then start manual water supply. Reset means stop. This is the vibrator switch. This is above the throttle. Press a start, release a stop. It helps the bucket to discharge smoothly. This is the throttle switch for the vehicle. When the vehicle is ready to start, the switch should be in this position. When the vehicle is ready to run off, the switch should be turned up. Turn the flame out wire to the off state. Then start the engine. Check the meters and see if the pointers are all in green. If no problem, then you can start driving. The air brake must be released before running. Forward is the forward gear. The middle is neutral. Back is reserve gear. This is low gear. This is neutral. This is high gear. When running on the road, you need to put into high gear. The air conditioner is placed behind the seat. The left knob controls the air volume. The right knob controls the air temperature. This joystick controls the big arm and the bucket. Pushing forward is to drop the arm. The big arm fall down. Pulling back is to lift the arm. The arm rises. Pushing to the left is to put away the bucket. Put away the hopper. Pushing to the right is taping bucket. Put down the hopper. To the right is the tank rotates to the right. Tank rotates to the right. To the left is the tank rotates to the left. Tank rotates to the left. To the right is to open the hatch gate. Open the hatch gate. To the left is to close the hatch gate. Close the hatch gate. To the right is to rise the tank. The tank is tilting downward. To the left is to fall the tank. The tank returns to its original position. To the left is feeding. The tank is feeding. To the right is the output. The tank is discharging. We need to watch the vehicle connected to the high-pressure vehicle washing interface. And then, you can wash the vehicle. When you need to pump the water, connect the pipe to the water pump. Push to the right and then pump the water. This is the changeover switch of the suction water pump. In this position, the suction pump draws water into the water tank. Turn it over, it will pump the water directly into the mixer tank. This is the water flow meter. 